All I can do is say please, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'm heading into what I call town, which is about 70 miles or more from where I actually live. Town is a long, long ways for me. And it's something that I don't do very often. But sometimes I do because I just want to get out of the house. I want to look around. I like seeing what the stores are doing because it gives me a better idea of what's going on in my hometown. Now, everybody's hometown is different. I've seen a lot of videos that I was really surprised at what I have seen. Um, they're talking that by next year, things will really hit us hard because of the bad droughts. Uh, cattle is being sold off. There will not be enough cattle. Beef will go down because the beef is going to be flooded because the farmers are getting rid of it because they can't afford to keep it because the hay is costing too much. But then the following year, it'll skyrocket up. So, hey, if you see it cheap, you might want to get a little extra and put some away in your freezer if you have a freezer. I don't know. I don't really buy meat, not much. There's only one or two cuts of meat that I even will mess with. And that's kind of why I'm going for in the town today. My son has come in and he wants to do a few things. And he asked me if I would like to come with him. And I said, well, sure. Because there's a small store here that has a small meat market. That's where the meat is cut. They cut it. They have butchers which is something that is extremely rare in our town. But this one store is owned by a couple of brothers. And they have packaged meat that you can go in there and buy. But packaged meat can be expensive because you have to buy more because it's in a package. So, you know, like instead of selling you one or two pork chops, they'll sell you six or seven. And I like this one because you can get what you want. But this store, I wanted to show you guys this. This store here is a little tiny store. It is very small. It's owned by, I think, a mother and her sons or something. It's been here for over 30 years. And they have just a very small vegetables amount, you know, not much. They do have a little meat market where you can ask them to cut your meat. And they will. And you could get one piece if you want it. But they don't have, they sell fresh cracklings. They make cracklings on a daily basis there at this store. But I want you to see this parking lot. Now this parking lot, and people just keep coming. It's across the street from the actual, this is a restaurant, meat market, you know, store supposedly. People are here to buy menudo. And I just could not get over. The store's parking lot is full and the, you see those cars crossing? They're coming over to this section where I'm at to park. Because they will go in and pay as much as $25 to $30 for menudo. I'm like, how could they afford that? And then I found out, well, a lot of times they put their gas on their credit card for their car. And they'll put quite a bit of their groceries on the credit card. Because they don't want to tell the wife or the kids they're not going to buy it. They can't afford it. People don't want to do this. They're, they're putting their McDonald's on their credit cards. Because they don't want to turn to their kids and say, we can't afford this. They don't. Now, here's a grocery store that's close to where the other store was at. Where people are going in and buying, eating. They sit down in that restaurant, too. And couples will and just order a bowl of menudo, which is seven ninety nine, which ends up being sixteen, what, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars. Now this store here, as you can see it has water. It's got plenty. They're not out. This store is not out of anything. It's not. It's just that it's high price. When this store first opened up, it was so, so cheap. You could get ten oranges for a dollar. Now, this store has not been here for no 30 years. It hasn't. It didn't take it long before it really shot up. It's got some veg lots of vegetables in here. These jalapenos are a dollar and four cents a pound, which is outrageous. They had some long green chilies here that were one seventy nine a pound. That is outrageous. These are this is not too bad of a price. This is you know about normal for these avocados, you know and. 
I got three of them. I, but I came here for a particular meat that my son really, really likes. My nutter butter really likes. But I wanted to kind of show you a little bit, you know, the bananas. Uh, 69 cents a pound I don't think is super cheap. I think it was 69. And so, but they have food. But here's the meat. They have lots of meat. Now, they have prepackaged meat, but I didn't want the prepackaged because it has more pieces in it than I wanted. And I wanted a certain type of meat, and I wanted only three pieces, and it's showing it right there. Now, this is called Nelinesa, but it's loin tip steak. That is what this is, loin tip steak. And I take my meat tender, or ten, I call it tenderizer meat now whatever you want to call it and I just pound it I am going to dip this in egg two eggs that I have beaten up in a bowl and I have some crackers that I've crushed up and this is why I went to that store this food right here this piece of meat right here in a restaurant with beans and rice as a side or french fries as a side it's fifteen ninety nine. You're looking at thirty two dollars for two people. I'm gonna feed three people for a whole lot less than that because I bought three pieces of this meat. It came out three of them came out to a pound. Five dollars for three. Now you're going to see the huge gigantic piece of meat this is. Now my nutter butter and my son had no problems eating it, and I'm gonna tell you. My nutter butter is as skinny as a toothpick. Now, I could not eat all this. I always save it because my nutter butter will eat it the next day in a sandwich. He loves this stuff in a sandwich. And so, whatever's left over, he will eat in a sandwich. But look at that. That is my big black cast iron skillet, and that piece of meat fills it up. It does. And I made rice, white rice as a side and I had made soap of the day before my nutter butter ate the soap and my son loves white rice he does so a lot of times if he comes by and he eats with us I'll make what I call a pot of white rice for him and like I said this at a restaurant if you just ordered some french fries with it because that's one of the sides they offer or rice and beans is going to cost you $15.99 that's a lot of money now look at this. This meat is tender and absolutely delicious. It really, really is. Now this is why I don't eat out. This is a discussion me and my son had. I don't see the point in it. Any food that I want at the store, I can make myself. If, I, if there's a restaurant, I can make it. I can make it myself and it will cost me a lot less. Now look at that. This meat is delicious. Enjoy.